everyone and welcome back to a brand new video, I'm your host Deeper Jungle and today I'm going to be doing a video and that's going to be a commentary talking about some of the new things that came to Modern Warfare Remastered in the latest update, so yeah let's get started. <laughs> So if you actually did not know, Modern Warfare Remastered received a new update, and in that update there are quite a few new things that actually came to Modern Warfare Remastered, being guns, new loadouts, things like that, and in this video I'm going to be talking about those new things, and if you're actually wondering where I'm getting this information from, it's actually from Charlie Intel, as well as if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to leave a like, let's see if we can get 7 likes on today's video, that would be absolutely amazing, and y'all let's get right into it. So the first interesting thing that actually came to Modern Warfare Remastered, and that's going to be Shamrock and Awe, and if you actually want to know what that is, Raven Software actually added it so that way it's actually a lot of new things that are going to be coming to Modern Warfare Remastered and it's actually pretty interesting it's going to be starting on March 14th at 10 a.m pacific standard time it's going to end on April 3rd at 12 a.m pacific standard time and what this is actually going to do it's going to give you new access to content as well as challenges and one thing that's actually pretty interesting about this event and that is if you actually play every single week you will be getting a free supply drop now just make sure that these supply drops actually do not stack on one another so that way you can't just like sign in every single week and have like five supply drops at the end of the weeks. So yeah, that's actually pretty awesome that this is happening in Modern Warfare Remastered. Another amazing thing and that is there was actually a bonus map added into Modern Warfare Remastered called Daybreak and Daybreak is actually a reimagining of the map Downpour. Except there's actually a couple of new changes. For one, it's kind of Irishified for St. Patrick's Day as well as it's actually daytime because if you actually did not know Downpour, it's kind of a bit of a gloomy map. It's pretty gray as well as it's raining. However, in Daybreak it's actually completely sunny. There's a rainbow, there's pots of gold and that's actually leads into the next thing and that is you can actually play as a new character in Modern Warfare Remastered. If you actually complete the challenge on the new map Daybreak, you can actually play as Graves, which is actually a character in the Modern Warfare Remastered campaign. And this is actually specifically only for this event as in if let's say you do not complete this challenge, you're not going to be able to play as him. So if you actually want to play as Graves, make sure to grind Modern Warfare Remastered and try to actually get this guy. As well as if you complete the challenges, you can actually unlock some of the new camos being the Shamrock inspired Folium as well as the Rainbow Ties Prism bonus camo so that's actually pretty neat as well as you can unlock two of the new weapons that I think are only for this map so that's actually pretty interesting this is the first real event that's actually going to be centered around a holiday or like an event that's coming up so there's actually going to be some more like specialty things like for example I would assume that there's probably going to be some special camos and challenges for Easter as well as Halloween all things like that and I actually think that's pretty neat because you have kind of like this exclusivity in the way like if you have to actually play the game when this is happening and actually something that's pretty interesting this is kind of like the game Hearthstone which is a card game made by Blizzard and it's kind of like that because if you actually did not know they have something like this in Hearthstone where if you have to complete these challenges to get a special card for like that Halloween or that like Easter things like that and that is not all guys there's actually some more content that were added into Modern Warfare Remastered so now I'm going to be going over some of the new weapons that were actually added added into Modern Warfare Remastered. The first one is the D25S, which is a semi-automatic sniper rifle effective at long range. It kind of looks a bit like the Ballista from Black Ops 2, however I don't think there's a gun in a previous Call of Duty game that shares the same name, so yeah that's actually a pretty neat gun. The other one is the Mac 10 and it's a fully automatic with a high rate of fire affected at close to medium range. It is of course a submachine gun and if you actually did not know, this gun was in a previous Call of Duty game and that was Black Ops 1. If you remember it, it was kind of a very weak weapon. Weapon. And frankly, it kind of resembles the mini Uzi from Black Ops 1 and the last gun and that's going to be the PKM Which is a fully automatic light machine gun with high power affected at medium to long range And if you actually are wondering this gun was actually seen in some other older Call of Duty games Because if you remember from Modern Warfare 3, there was actually one of the LMGs in Modern Warfare 3 So yeah, that's all the news for Modern Warfare Remastered and yeah, that has really been it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did please remember to leave a like as well subscribe if you are new and don't forget to click the bell to get a notification every single time I upload a new video. Also if you would like to check out a video that I uploaded about a week ago and it was talking about the new DLC that is going to be coming to Modern Warfare Remastered on March 21st. So if you would actually like to check out that video it will be linked down in the description as well as a card on your screen right now. So yeah that's really been it for this video and I hope to see you in the next one.